hello and welcome back to my channel I wanted to go into some I have two areas actually in my yard where I am adding things to create a compost soil and it's not in any containers they're just areas in the yard and so I wanted to take a few minutes to show you um, the little area. What we're doing is we're adding uh, household scraps, you know, food that may have been left over or simply things that went bad that the kids did not eat. I hate that, but um, it happened. <laughs> And it happens, I'm sure it happens in other people's homes as well. I don't like it, but um, what I do is I take it and add it to our composting area. Wait a minute, let me sit this down and see. Okay, I think that's gonna work. Okay, so I take it and add the extra leftover stuff to the areas where we want to create a really nice soil. And so this is one of them and that's all the bread. I hate man wasteful. And so I'm taking the material and I'm simply covering for today. And we will come back at a later date and just turn this. My husband is typically the one that will turn the things, you know, when they break down. And so there's a lot of pine straw and other material in there to kind of help it along the way. And I typically like to bury it a little bit, but I think that'll be good enough to help it start its journey towards breaking down. So I also have a, oh, while I'm on the back side of this fence let me show here we have some grape vines I cannot remember what kind this one is but it has been here for two years now well this is yeah this is the second year it's been here and as you can see it's growing all through my fence my herb wall or a lettuce wall, whatever I'm gonna call it. And let's see, this one, huh, it took the tags off. So this is the newest one and it is just getting started. And it's actually reached for the fence already. So I am really looking forward to having these. This fence is really strong, so it can hold a lot of weight. And so I'm really seriously looking forward to having some of those grapes once they are out, <laughs> once they are available. And then we have one more of the grape vines in the back. I saw a snake recently, so I'm always hesitant everywhere I walk. <laughs> And the grass back here is, let me show you, it's super thick right here. It's super thick because this is where our septic lines run back here. So let's see. Oh, here it is. I'm standing right by it. I was missing it. So as you can see, we just recycle all types of things and this will basically hang on to that 
so yeah that's our third grape vine and they are tip they are actually running through this tree as well I don't know where that one started from but as you can see the woods are very very dense back here in our back so yeah <laughs> so we have um, banana trees as well there's one and then I think we have another banana tree you know what I forgot to show you guys this uh, raspberry bush so it was initially sold to us as a red raspberry bush but you see this it gets dark purple so that is a different variety I guess than the red raspberries and that's when it turns sweet so when it is red like that it is very very tart and when it is like this it is very very sweet so that's how we push them and I don't know if you can see back there but they're big clusters of raspberries that are back there and so we just have stuff everywhere sometimes I even forget some of the things that we have back here but I just want it to be a little oasis when we can come out and enjoy some awesome berries and just different fruit out of out of our own yard and take a look right down here you see that nice rich black soil I'm not sure what my husband planted right there but something is coming up right there but that's what we want to create by making these piles um, on the ground in the yard and let me go over it's a little junky over here because we've been doing some work but let's see that is the other pile that we use to just create nice rich soil so the mister is out here working this morning <laughs> getting some things taken care of and I'm gonna move on to planting let's see I have what is this bell peppers <laughs> that was the thing that I was supposed to have planted yesterday but that's okay today works as well so let me adjust you a little bit and I'm going to use some of these the same as I did before give me just a second let me grab my knife I'm gonna use these same containers. I have two and I may have a third inside, but. So take a really sharp knife. drink a lot of water and so we have a good amount of these every week to work with and so let's see which one we have this is 
yellow. This is a yellow bell pepper. And as you can see, I took it from, just from a bell pepper that I previously had. And all you have to do is, I've done this before and so I know it works without even going through an intensive drying stage with the seeds. And so if you buy bell peppers from the store, go ahead and remove them. See, just remove them and put them in a bag or something. A plastic bag works. A paper bag would probably be better to really keep them nice and dry. And so, just fill your container. To the desired height. And I want to grow a good number of peppers, so I'll sprinkle about half of the seeds in there. And the rest, I'm going to put them away. Let me make sure, well, it doesn't really matter so much that I label them because we'll see once they actually start to grow. We'll see what they are anyway. I just know it's a bell pepper. And then I'll label this container as a yellow bell pepper. And so once again, that's kind of how you do that. So harvesting your seeds is super, super important. The fact that they are in your backyard is extremely important. You need to make sure that you're keeping all of your seeds and just take them if you have a ton obviously you want to be very diligent and if you're going to share them as well if you have that many then definitely be de uh, diligent about labeling them i just have these few so i'm not going to go into labeling them at this point but that's just a way that you can really have a variety of things and my allergies are acting up this morning <laughs> being outside but uh, that's pretty much it for this video and so if you have any questions please let me know and go ahead and if you have not subscribed already go ahead and subscribe to our channel share with your friends and family so that you know, we will be able to grow the channel and really bring a variety of information that will be helpful uh, to us all. And if you have any suggestions, any tips, uh, we're not professional at this. We're doing this because we feel that it's a necessity to do this at this point in history. We got to get back to the basics. We just really do. So. Thank you again for tuning in and I will see you guys on the next video.